What'd you rope me into, Joey? We're going to Reef of Palooza. 420! <laughs> no, not, not Reef or Palooza, Reef of uh, Palooza. That's right, Joey and I went on an adventure going to Orlando to Reefa Palooza. I was honored that Joey had invited me, even though he asked me after his wife already told him that she couldn't make it. Being plan B, I was still excited. What wasn't exciting was Orlando traffic. This is Joey's dream. You've made it. Now I'm only going to show you a small sample of what we saw, but if you want to see more, go over to The Coral Reef Talk on YouTube. It was really fun seeing Joey in his element and helping him tape and make videos for his other channel. And after filming for a couple of hours, we decided to leave and get something to eat. And when we mean something, we mean wall burgers. I know you can tell by the video that I'm super excited to eat here. Now leading up to the trip, we game planned about maybe sharing a few of the burgers. Wait, at least one. Like on the bill, we'll split one. Or do you just want to split all of it? I don't know. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just take my two just to get a real good layout of the menu. But in retrospect, I just got two burgers and Joey got one. Uh, call me selfish, but I really, really wanted two burgers to myself. Now the two burgers I went with was one was the OFD, which is originally from Doychesta which has mushrooms and a strawberry jam on it. Whereas the other one, I got the Thanksgiving Day burger, which is Mac's favorite burger. And it is a turkey patty with basically a whole Thanksgiving meal on it. I'll just give you a quick review of my whole experience there. The atmosphere is phenomenal. The burgers are fantastic. And the service is really, really great. I mean, this was one of the best experiences I could have even imagined. Now I mentioned the service, but I have a quick story to tell y'all. Everyone at the Orlando Wahlburgers is super, super nice. And our waitress was super nice, almost to a fault. Um, when she asked us uh, how we would like our burgers, I ordered both my burgers on gluten-free bread. I don't have celiac disease or whatever it's called but I haven't been eating bread or any gluten in a long, long time. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to get gluten-free buns. So I ordered both burgers with gluten-free buns. And she asked me, oh, do you have the celiac disease? And I just said yes, just to make the situation easier for everybody. And not that I'm going to have to explain my eating regimen. So she goes off and puts in our order and everything. And she comes back with our burgers, and she looked at me and said, Oh, on your Thanksgiving Day burger, I told the chefs to not put stuffing on the burger because it has bread in it. If you could have seen my disappointment on my face when I got that burger and learned that there was no stuffing on it, I was super, super bummed. Now, don't get me wrong. The burger was fantastic. But I think it would have been 10,000 times better if I would have had the stuffing on it. So that's a lesson for you. If you're going to go to Wahlburgers, just eat all the gluten and don't say you have celiac disease and eat gluten-free bread. Because they will make sure personally that you will not get tore up. Again, it's not on the waitress. It's on myself. It's my fault for lying. And that's what I get pure magic, more like pure dookie, am I right? <laughs> Overall, it was a great experience, except for more traffic. The next morning, I was up bright and early to go see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Look how happy I am. We got tickets, we got our seats, I did the normal thing that I do and before every movie, and that's text and check Twitter up until the preview start. The movie started, we left, and here's our quick reviews for the movie. So what'd you think about it? I liked the movie. I liked it. You can see my full review on my website at drewangelman.com.
That's DrewAngelman.com. Link in the description below. Yeah, stock that mail, boy.